understanding the Bandini collection. First off, it's about storytelling. I've always based the collection on two main points and that is nature and culture. They're my inspiration. Nature, we take things like shells and wood and sticks and culture, I examine the Mayan culture, the Roman culture. It's all made possible by handcrafted, village-based um, weavers, embroiderers, people who use old-fashioned methods and dyes that are meant and come from the earth. It's not mass-produced. People are always asking me, how do you do this? So this is a little bit of a background of how we do a Bandini collection. I want to let you know that we design with you in mind, so you don't need to worry, does this go with that? I've thought about this and I design with four elements in mind. Culture, of course, is of all the elements of the different countries, cultures, ECATs. These sorts of things are reminiscent of the Roman culture. So we've done a column series. We'll do a nature series, which we'll talk about. But the second consideration is that my collection in this particular, going to be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Whether it all flows together and it's got balance. That's what we do. Here we have a linen base. So that's the other consideration. I look at it and think, is this going to be a linen base series, a cotton base series, or a velvet base? Here we have the linen base. We make sure all your linens go together. So this goes with that. And then when you add something in cotton, it also matches. So that's a big deal about what we do. In each of our collections, we also do what we call a warm base or a cool base. Here we've got asymmetrical warm base. So here's our asymmetrical pattern in the new rake, and we have some backup guys and also in the rake. So I've taken consideration and used the same flow on effect, warm base colors back with your velvet. So these are velvets, then you can use plain velvets or you can use the panel velvets. Still in velvets, we've got a symmetrical collection. So here we have a cool base using white. Velvet's back with that as well. So in every collection, whether it be black and beige, neutral, navy and white, or greens, we've done cool and warm collections. thing I consider in one of my elements is what technique am I going to use? Is it going to be an applique or in the embroidery? Often these two things go together. So this guy has all the technique of embroidery and applique and his backup guy is the embroidery following the same lines. And also a very important thing to remember is that I do use the same colours in the embroidery thread. So no matter what you put together in our collection, you'll get that thread running through it. One of our original techniques is the hand woven. These are done on looms, absolutely done 100% by hand. Here's a couple of old ones come back because for me, they're evergreens. Evergreens for me, I always have, and I bring them in and take them out. It's the perennials that change each season. So this technique is a warm base technique and it goes beautifully back with our velvets. Another top important one in our elements is our texture. This comes knitted things, fringe things, crazy things like the sticks, two different types of, the, this gives a dimension look. Look, you can use texture throughout any of the collections, but together, all sorts of textures on top of each other look divine.
Another of our de design elements, which we've used from the beginning, is a combination between block printing and screen printing. Here they're done on cottons, and they go back beautifully with our plain cottons, which have got one colour one side, another colour the other side, and a lot of our um, braided cushions are on cottons too, so these match back. Again, you can mix them, but they're really nice in patterns together. These are our new season guys. Latitude, hexagon, lily pad, um, arrow and the large arrowhead. Some of these are just brand new out and they come in all four colours. The last but not least with our crazy techniques and something we're pretty well known for is our embellishments. Nothing's too mad at Bandini. We have a series of metallic creatures, we call them, a rabbit, elephant and a horse. And we also have a lion's head. We have things like sticks and fringes and raffia and shells and tassels and pom-poms and feather. So that's our embellishment series. really one for two seasons a year. I don't believe design comes like that. It's inspirational. So I rather sit with the families or the collections that we have. And like anything in nature and like families, a new guy joins it every season. We've got our annual amulet series, Dreamtime, Arrow, Butterfly, Cross, Dot, Earth Files, Ecat, our inners, our paras, our shoers, our weaves, our velvet, our linen, and our ancient cultures like the Mayan, Roman, and Kimming, our rake series. We have elements like wood, leather, stone, shells, raffia, horn, feather, knots, knits, metal, and coconut. We're very consistent at Bandini and my design sizes and shapes are based on hexagons, diamonds and circles. These repeated patterns will work together and work as families together in their different colours. They're subtle yet beautiful. The pattern size is large, medium and small, so work together in threesomes. Don't worry about those threads, they'll work back. I've thought long and hard about the warm and the cool shades and all our embroidery things. We've also thought about straight lines and dots and in all of our techniques we've either given you a line that you can follow and something that matches back with or a dot. For example, in our lovely butterfly there's a dot and that also has a backup guy in the diamond dot, so you can use them in between. Same dot, same thread, works together. We've got you covered for sizes too, so you have a gradation. 65 by 65, 55 by 55, 50 by 50, and our little lumbers are 50 by 30, and our lovely long lumbers. And just remember, our Bandini Basics pair back with every type of style that we do. We've got linen, velvet and cotton. Simple and plain to go back with all of the bases that we've designed in applique, embroidery, embellishments, woven and texture. So I hope that helps. When you're asking us for a catalogue or a swatch, I want you to know we've done the work for you. Don't worry, they will work together because we've thought it through and we've done it. And we're very conscious about not printing or distributing materials that go to waste and end up in landfill. So we'd rather talk with you, work through a storyboard and show you how we've put our really wonderful and rich collection together.